Today we'll be sketching the graph of the parabola y equals x squared minus 2x minus 5. The first thing we can see is that the coefficient of x squared is positive, so it will be opening up. Next, we can take our equation and put it into standard form by completing the square. This will give us the vertex. So remember that we do negative b over 2a. So here we get 1. Whatever we do to the right side, we have to do to the left. So we add 1 to both sides. We factor and we end up getting y equals x minus 1 squared minus 6, which makes our vertex 1, negative 6. And our axis of symmetry is the vertical line with that same x value, so x equals 1. So here's our axis of symmetry on the graph. Here's our vertex down at negative 6. The next thing we can find is the y-intercept. To do that, we will plug in a 0 for x. So we get 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 5. We end up with y equals negative 5. So our y-intercept is the point 0, negative 5. Here it is on our graph, and we can see from the axis of symmetry that the point 2, negative 5, will also be on our parabola. Next, we'll find our x-intercepts by plugging in a 0 for y. Since this cannot be factored, we're going to put it into the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. When you work this out, you get x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 6. Uh, that's hard to graph, so working it out on a calculator, we get the points 3.450 and negative 1.450. So 3.45 is pretty close to 3.5, and, and then negative 1.45 is pretty close to negative 1.5. Remember to try and approximate the curve of a parabola, don't draw straight lines. So this is the graph of our equation.